so Tyler Perry, um, you know, I've, I've already said that, you know, I don't dislike Tyler Perry at all. Um, I actually have a lot of admiration and respect for who he is and what he's done and what he's built um, and his contributions to cinema, you know, in general, to entertainment. Um, the guy has worked from the very bottom all the way up. Um, he's employed a lot of people. He's created a lot. Of, like when people say, oh, well, why don't you just go do it yourself? He's done that, right? Like he's got his own movie studio. He employs people. He tells stories from his perspective and he empowers people to do the same. At the same time, um, my only real criticism of him has always been that I felt that <clears throat> he's always played it a little more safe, which is not a terrible thing. Like if you're doing very well in your lane, do your thing. But I've always felt as though that he was always capable of doing more and better uh, in terms of what he does creatively. So, for example, I look at a movie like A Family That Prays and I'm like, yo, that movie right there, that's a good teaser of, hey, Tyler, you don't have to make just stereotypical remedial sounding films. You know, um, again, I know that there's an audience for everything, but um, I know that as a creator, he is also very talented. Um, but that that's really the extent that it goes to. It's not like I go checking for his films. I don't hate them. Um, it's just not something that I go looking for. Um, but <clears throat> from a business side, like I said, I totally respect what he does and how he goes about things. And apparently um, he is trying to expand his studio reach. But not only that, he's dipping his toe into AI a little bit. Um, and the AI is getting a little concerning. Um, check out what he did and what he found out about AI here in this interview. It says Tyler Perry had been planning an $800 million expansion of his studio in Atlanta, which would have added 12 sound stages to the 330 acre property. Now, however, those ambitions are on hold. Open AI's text to video model Sora is to blame. He saw he said here being told that it can do all of these things is one thing, but actually seeing the capabilities was mind blowing. So what he's referring to is open AI. These are the people that gave you chat GPT, you know, all that AI stuff. Right. And um, we've already talked about how AI was kind of sort of encroaching on the entertainment industry where you started having AI write up scripts for you. You had AI um, potentially um getting rid of background you know actors and stuff because the studio could take that image and just reuse it and stuff um but yeah ai has been kind of creeping its way and like making it you know being a threat you know to the industry one way or another um but what he's referring to with this um with this new development sora it's kind of interesting and it's a little scary um so what it is, basically, it's text to video. So in other words, you type in, a, you know, a prompt. You say like, yo, I want a cat that's on the moon that's, you know, eating an apple or something like that. And whatever this thing does, whatever magic voodoo that's put into it, it'll give you that video. It'll give you that video. So um, we actually have a quick uh, example of it here. And this is on the open AI here. So the video that you see here, that is the video that's produced. And this is what you would type right up here. You would go here and just type in a movie trailer featuring the adventures of a 30-year-old spaceman wearing a red wool knitted motorcycle helmet, blue sky, salt desert, cinematic style, shot on three 35 millimeter film, vivid colors. That's all that you would have to put in. And this is what you get. This is nuts. This is nuts. Okay, look, 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 hold on. Let's make it a little bigger of it. Would y'all see like this? This is from just typing that in. Who is that guy? I don't even know who this guy is. Is he an actor? Who like I if you put this in a movie, I would have never known the difference. Ever known the difference. And again, this is just a sample. This is this thing being beta. Okay. This is not like the finished product. So you could only imagine if you sit here and say like, yo, um, give me a skyline look of Philadelphia, New York, Chicago. Y'all know all them times 
when you're watching a TV show or a movie or something like that, and in between the scenes, or maybe even in the title, you just see the camera going over the city, or like, you know, let's say you're doing something in the woods, and you see the camera just panning over the woods or going through trees, you cut that right out. All that stuff. Why you got to travel? Why you got to go anywhere? You could just shoot that, put that in the text, and then boom, there you go. That will make a very big difference in the budget. That's huge. So Tyler Perry is talking about that impact. Um, and keep in mind, he's coming from two different perspectives, right? Like, and he's in a compromising perspective because he is an actor, he is a writer, he is a director, and he is the studio, right? So he's got a very unique perspective on all different sides of this stuff. Um, so I thought what he had to say was pretty fascinating here. And he said here, they asked him, like, you know, what was shocking to you about the capabilities? He said, I no longer would have to travel to locations. If I wanted to be in the snow in Colorado, it's text. If I wanted to write a scene on the moon, it's text. And this AI can generate it like it's nothing. If I wanted to have two people in the living room on the mountains, I don't have to build a set in the mountains. I don't have to put a set on my lot. I can sit in the office and do this with a computer, which is shocking to me. Um, he goes on to say, I just used AI in two films that are going to be announced soon. That kept me out of makeup for hours in post and on set. I was able to use this AI technology to avoid ever having to sit through hours of aging makeup. You just put some makeup artists out of a job. You know? Now, I'm not saying he's doing this intentionally. I'm just saying, imagine if the industry did that. You know, I just watched uh, Maestro from um, on Netflix with Bradley Cooper. They, they, they spent hours making him look older, right? We just saw uh, uh, Colin Farrell in um, uh, the Matt Reeves Batman looking like Penguin. That took hours for makeup artists to make him look like that. Well, snaps. If if AI can just do it for you, them jobs is gone. That that's it. That's a wrap. Um, he says here, and they asked him, uh, "How would you like the entertainment industry to confront this?" He says, "I absolutely think that it has to be an all hands on deck, whole industry approach, um, and I think it has to be everybody." And I agree with him um, because that is not something that you know writers should only take over, or actors, you know, or direct like everybody should be there needs to be a collective here because honestly think about it everyone can get screwed one way or another writers your scripts can go bye-bye you know now we just had a whole you know strike that happened where these things are uh, mediated for only a couple years so we'll, we will be back here but actors y'all almost got replaced you know if you're a background actor or whatever your face your voice all those things could have been replaced and you're not getting no checks directors I don't know. Maybe directors, maybe the studio is going to be like, nah, we don't need to pay you X amount of dollars for things. And maybe we don't give you a big budget because we could just have AI shoot half of this movie. Anything, everybody going to get affected, you know, now, um, you know, Tyler goes on in this interview and does talk about how, you know, some of the benefits here. And again, it sucks for the people on the ground. It sucks for the key grips, the, um, the sound people, the the makeup artists. It sucks for the people that work these jobs on a you know daily basis, right? Um, but he was like, look, imagine a, a somebody trying to pitch a movie or a TV show to a studio. You don't have to go hire a bunch of actors and stuff like that. You could just show the pitch via AI instead of you paying. 15 million dollars just for a pilot you could just do ai what was it um netflix with the masters of the universe the he-man movie they were trying to make that movie they spent 30 million dollars on just the pilot just to kind of sort of see if it would work now they passed on that but you mean to tell me that netflix wouldn't have taken the opportunity to use ai and to see if it could work or not and not spend $30 million? Absolutely they would. Absolutely they would. So I don't know. This thing is kind of scary. Now, here's one positive thing. One positive thing I could potentially see. I could see this also being a potential game changer 
for up and comers. So if you're an indie filmmaker, if you're an indie television, you know, director, producer, whatever, I could see that being something really dope. Imagine this, because I'm uh, listen, I'm gonna play around with it. I'm 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 not even gonna lie. If this thing is accessible and I ain't gotta pay for it like that, I'm gonna try it out, you know, because how many times do we sit here and be like, man, I got this idea for this movie and I'd love to see it, blah, 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 blah. And you just want to test it out. You put that sucker on YouTube. You put that sucker on social media. If it goes viral, you don't think a studio going to contact you? You don't think somebody going to be like, run it. We're, cut the check. You don't think that's going to happen? So I could totally see that stuff being very dangerous. It can work for people and it could work against them as well but y'all let me know what do you think about this whole ai thing with the text to the video um do you do you see more positives than negatives um do you agree with tyler do you disagree whatever you think let me know your thoughts in the comments down below Thank you so much for watching. This was just a segment of one of my live chats, and if you're interested in joining in on the next one, be sure to subscribe and turn on your notifications for more. I've got more videos and reviews to do for you all, and until next time, I'll see you all later.